Hi, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to another installment of Heritage TV. As you can tell, we're at the Raffles Museum of Biodiversity Research at the National University of Singapore. This is a very special museum as it houses Singapore's and the region's most precious natural heritage. Join me as I'll tell you more. If you visited the National Museum in the 60s and 70s, you will probably remember the many animal and bird specimens on display. Today, these are housed right here at the Raffles Museum of Biodiversity Research. The museum's collections were first started in 1849 by Sir Stamford Raffles himself, who was an eminent naturalist. Today, it contains the single largest collection of Southeast Asian fauna in the region of at least 400,000 catalogued specimens. Many people know that tigers used to roam the jungles of Singapore about a hundred years ago. But did you know our tiny island was also home to the Indo-Chinese leopard, like this specimen right next to me here. Almost two meters long, this leathery turtle was washed up along the shores of Siklap in 1883. Staff members and students of the Raffles Museum are actively engaged in research and conservation of animals and plants on land, in our streams and in our seas. They are also involved in numerous surveys and expeditions not just in Singapore, but around the region as well. Apart from research, the Raffles Museum is deeply passionate in fostering a spirit of conservation especially among the young. It can be interesting to visit the Raffles Museum of Biodiversity, but to find out some of the stories behind the specimens can really break your heart. There are only about 20 banded leaf monkeys surviving in Singapore. This elderly female, probably the leader of the group, was attacked and killed by dogs a few years ago when she climbed down from a tree in search of food. The savageness of her own death in her advanced age heralded what must surely be the beginning of the end for her troop. But nature has surprised us before. Maybe in the depths of our forest reserves, a small troop of monkeys still struggles to survive. We are not just a garden city. Much of our natural heritage remains for all to enjoy. For Heritage TV, I'm Kimberly. Stars and astral cars